Good morning, guys, and welcome back to Nature Photography Gear channel. I'm Giuseppe, an Italian natural photographer, and in today's video, I'm gonna talk about, about the last firmware update, the 3.0 version of the Nikon's mirrorless flagship, the Z9. Very well, to be honest, Nikon is making a lot of effort for addressing customers' needs, and this is really positive. Anyway, let's dive into the news. New to the Z9 with firmware version 3.0, the iOS zoom mode with shooting 4K video. This feature starts by capturing over sample 4D videos from the full width of the 8.3K sensor and slowly crops in until it switches over to capturing the 4K APS-C 1.5 per crop, crop section of the sensor. This will effectively provide a 2 per digital per focal zoom without having to ever touch the lens attached to the camera. The footage will be less sharp since it's no longer using over sample video once you are at 2 per zoom, but initial tests we did show that the transition is very seamless. This feature can be controlled using the F2 and F2 function buttons, left right uh, buttons on the multi selector or with a function ring or control ring on compatible lenses. Using the button causes the high res zoom to be done at one continuous speed, while using the control rings allow for adjusting the zoom as fast or slow as needed based on the speed the ring is turned. C60 mode for continuous shooting. With this update, in addition to the current C30 and C120 continuous capture mode option, the Z9 offers a C60 mode that will split the difference. This mode will capture roughly 19 megapixels and still images at 60 fps in the X mode. This feature is in the X mode which increases effective focal length while satisfying the diverse needs of photographers, especially those in the field of photojournalism, sports and bird photography, who value speed and range. Firmware 3.0 improves upon the Z9's powerful AF system, enhancing performance and subject detection. The low light limit has been extended by 0.5 EV with accuracy improved in low light and low constraint conditions. Multiple announcements have been made 3D tracking mode. Focus will be stickier on a subject and less likely to shift into a foreground obstacle that momentarily obscure a subject. Users now also have the option to change the color or focus point to red, which can be useful for shooting in a variety of backgrounds. Additionally, the detection and tracking of fast-moving animals has been improved when animal is selected in 3D tracking. The high frequency flicker reduction mode Nikon brought to Z9 stills with firmware version 2.10 is now available for video and Nikon has added time synchronization and ultra sync blue to the Z9. That means it's now possible to use a single wireless remote to control time code across multiple Z9 cameras. And Atomos Ultra Sync Blue is now supported over Bluetooth. Other features include more ca uh, custom functions that allow the remapping of more buttons on the camera, including the record button, a new vertical playback display for viewing content in vertical orientation, an auto series playback function for automatically display multiple frames for a single bus and playback, and a full format function that can completely delete data from compatible CF Express Type B cards. Firmware update is free to download from Nikon's website. You can see more information about the firmware update by checking out the Nikon website at the link in the description below. For sure, these updates are really, really useful for nature photography, but not only for that. Now, I'm gonna wait for some good review uh, by uh, Nikon, uh, use, Nikon users to see how it works. Meanwhile, please support this channel. Give me a like, subscribe to the channel, and allow the notification bell. Take care, guys. See you next time. Bye-bye.